iFixers, it's MJ with iFixit, and a while back we did a video called Worst Tech Buy Ever, which I'll put a link to right over here, and it was a video response to a fellow named Chris Perillo who did a video about his worst tech buy. It was kind of a casual video, but it was fun, and we really liked hearing what you guys had to say, so we thought we would sit down and do another casual sort of video, and uh, hopefully it will be just as good as last time. <laughs> So I was listening to this podcast called Geek Friday with Dan Benjamin and Faith Corpy. And oh, if you want to listen to it, we'll put a link down in the description. So um, you can give it a listen. I would recommend it. Uh, Faith was wondering, like if she were to put together a geek emergency kit, what should go in the kit? So of course, that got me to thinking, if I were in a geek emergency, what would I want in my geek go bag? So, after some thought, I put some things in my Geek Go bag and I would like to share them with you. Think of it as kind of like a what's in your purse video, except you can swap my mini toothbrush for a spudger. So, here we go. Things in my Geek Go kit. Uh, the first thing I would put in there is a rocket ship. Just kidding. It's not a toy. It's an air blower. See? It blows air. Um, the point <laughs> is that for something like an iPhone, you might think that your speaker is broken, when in fact there's just lint jammed in the headphone jack. So the iPhone thinks there's headphones plugged in all the time and it doesn't output sound from the bottom. What you really need is to shoot some air in there, get the dust out, and then it works fine. It's also good for taking dust out of the dock connector, maybe you have dust bunnies living in your keyboard, you need to clean your laptop fan. Uh, this is good for all of those things. You might also know this as a can of compressed air. Uh, the reason I would use something like this is because it's reusable, unlike a can of compressed air that eventually empties out and then you have to throw it away and uh, it's not good for the planet. So this is reusable, but if you've got a can of compressed air, it does the same job. So the next thing in my Geek Go bag, ah, I hate dirty electronics and there's nothing worse about like going over to fix somebody's computer and then seeing that it's just gnarly and dirty and gross and I don't want to touch it. So the first thing I would do is clean it off with some electronic cleaning solution. We use stuff called OmniCleans because that's what we sell here. And a microfiber towel. The worst thing you can do is spend a bunch of money on a nice laptop or something and then ruin the screen by using a crummy towel and like Lysol or something like that. You wouldn't do that. You're smarter than that, but some people, they would. So cleaning solution also in my geek go bag. The next thing, ah, is an ESD wrist strap, or I like to call it an ESD bracelet because isn't that good looking? Nice bracelet, right? <laughs> uh, this is great for grounding yourself when doing any kind of electronics repair, and it's so small, it's really easy to throw in the Geek Emergency Kit. My next thing is, ah, you don't know what this is probably. You might, but I don't think you do. It's called an iSesimo, and it is a flexible metal opening tool. This is really good for any time you would use a credit card to jimmy something open. Um, this is really, really good for opening up a Mac Mini and it's much better than using like a file down putty knife or something because it does less damage to the thing that you're working on. So it's small, it's kind of fun to play with, it makes a good slingshot in my Geek Go kit. The next thing, ah, this is one of the better ones, is a bit driver kit because it has, I'll open it up, most of the bits I'm ever going to need in a geek emergency. And the driver's magnetized, so if I drop a screw, if, when I drop a screw inside what I'm working on, I can just pick it up real easily. Don't have to get my fingers in there. Uh, so the bit driver kit is very, very useful. It's also portable. If you think you're gonna be working on specialty devices, perhaps iPhones, it'd be good to carry your specialty driver with you. This is a pentalobe driver. Um, we talked about this pentalobe driver and the pentalobe screws a while back. I keep doing this when I mean a while back. Uh, we'll put a link to it right over here. Um, it's a good video, you should watch it, but uh, this is really good for working on iPhones with pentalobe screws. So carry whatever specialty driver you would need. Only a couple more things. The, ooh, I always have a flashlight with me. Like on my keychain, I have a little LED flashlight that's really powerful. But if you're serious about lighting and you need it to be hands-free, go with a headlamp. See, you turn it and it goes on. Really easy to use and it doesn't get any dorkier than wearing a headlamp while you're repairing electronics. So that's a good one to have with you. Okay, this one, the ubiquitous spudger. 
almost every repair I've ever done, I've needed a plastic sponger for. Whether it's for disconnecting tiny little connectors or, or prying things, spongers are essential. So I'd have at least one with me. Um, also for the, like the two other girls maybe that are watching, it's really good for putting your hair up. So there's that. Yeah, pick your lady friend up a spudger and tell her it's a hair accessory. She'll think you're really thoughtful. Just kidding, she probably won't. Okay, so the last thing, and it's my very favorite one, is this bag, which you've probably never seen before because it's new and we invented it. So <laughs> it's called a thirsty bag. And just like the picture on the front would indicate, it is for drawing out the moisture from a waterlogged device. So let's say I drop my iPhone in the pool. After a brief moment of panic, I would stick it in the thirsty bag and this would draw out the moisture from the phone much better, more efficiently than a bag of rice would. And way more convenient because who just carries a bag of rice with them? This is the kind of thing you'd want to pick up well in advance of dropping your phone in the toilet or something. Uh, I know those kinds of emergencies aren't planned, but if you're prepared and you have one of these handy, you'll look super smart. Or if like your buddy has his phone in his pocket and jumps in the pool, you will save the day. You'll be his hero. Um, if you want to get any of the stuff that I talked about in my geek bag, we will put links to them down in the description. Um, and I'm really curious to hear what I missed because I'm sure I forgot to include something and you guys always have great suggestions. So um, let me know what else I should carry in my geek emergency bag. And maybe you've put one of these together yourself and you just have great suggestions. So put them down in the comments below uh, or send me an email at melissa at ifixit.com. Um, thanks for watching and I'm really eager to hear what you guys have to say. If you want, you may subscribe to our channel to get all these fun and important updates or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit. Thanks for watching. Happy repairing.